What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel, guys. It's, uh, man, it's rainy, it's cold, like, yeah, and sadly, the car cannot get out because it's on tire, which, actually, I need to get some new drag slicks for the 2020 drag season, but, guys, um, I got a lot of work to do, and I'm gonna kind of give you behind-the-scenes look, uh, so I hope you enjoy this video. It's gonna be a little different, but, uh, let me know if you like it, so let's go. So here is the current situation. Uh, I've got the uh, Ford Takeover coming up, and if you caught the last video, you saw a little promo video I did for Ford Takeover that's coming up uh, June 6, Jackson, Tennessee. I rented out the track, which we're going out to the track today, and I'm going to show you the, where the track is, where the pre-meet is, and some of the hotels in the area. Um, it's something that I have to do to make sure this event goes smoothly. It's the unglamorous side of doing car events and if you've ever put on a car event you know exactly what i'm talking about uh real quick guys because i haven't done an update on the car in a while what is the deal with the coyote swap fox body uh quite a lot actually i've got to get the two-step installed the two-step is uh in the hatch there got to get the two-step installed uh 430 gears got to get those installed got to get the torque box reinforcements installed and I've got this crazy thing with the steering wheel. Uh, yeah, I gotta get door pins on this side too. Uh, I've got this crazy thing with the steering wheel ever since we did the header install. Like it doesn't, it like the car is aligned, but it doesn't want to go into the into the rack properly. And I need a, a new steering rack anyway because my tie rods are shot. So guys, the the sad thing about it is with all the other bills that we've had going on at the shop, it makes it literally. Uh, like we have to plan that we're gonna actually work on this car or Dover's car or Alex's car because there's so many other things um, that you know there's the customer cars in the shop um, even project four to eight I've had to push outside so we could get some of these other things done so yeah I mean guys there's a lot going on it's okay it's cool uh, you always get to see the cool videos and we get to do cool stuff it just kind of put stuff like this on the back burner so um, Guys, we gotta get going. I've gotta do the unsexy side of planning an event. I'm gonna take you with me, so let's go. All right, boys, it is time to roll. Let's do this. All right, boys, so let's get on with it. And if you're wondering why I've got my little hat on today is because it's 35 degrees and with the wind chill, it's like 30 and I'm freaking bald. So if you don't like my hat, you can kiss my, no, I'm just kidding, I'm just, I'm just kidding. I'm just, my head was cold. All right, boys, so here is the situation. Uh, June 6th is Ford Takeover. Uh, this is my fourth time doing this event. Um, the uh, first question, where the hell is Jackson, Tennessee? Jackson, Tennessee is roughly smack dab between Memphis and Nashville on the flat side of Tennessee, uh, literally on I-40, so it's super easy to get to. Um, Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi, uh, Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, uh, any of those states, uh, you're you're close by. Even North Carolina, Georgia, no worries. You're you're within four to five hours max. Um, so here's the thing: the first part of the event is the pre-meet, um, which I'm taking you to now. The the location that we have now. At this point, the pre-meet isn't massive. I mean, I think we had maybe a hundred cars there last year. Um, you know, so we just meet up at a um, at a location that's got a lot of food and you know it's close to hotels it's close to the interstate so it's easy access for everybody and if you want to eat you can so that's where we're headed now let's go all right boys so like i said you've got a sonic you got a mcdonald's there's a pizza place a subway and like a burger king across the way there's a mexican joint a taco bell freaking waffle house for all you southern homies I know you love that Waffle House just like I do. Uh, but this is the deal, guys. You pull in here, you got the grocery store right there, hang a right, and then way back over here is where the pre-meet is. And there's like never any cars here. So this is really good for this, this area locally. Uh, brings a lot of business to this exit. And uh, 
you know obviously you know you can patronize it by eating the food and stuff like that but okay guys real quick that's the hotel that's not done right there and i'm pretty sure it won't be done they're taking their sweet time but that's the spring hill suites right there and again it's right on the interstate and it's brand new so that's a super nice place to stay and i'll show you the other one across the street but guys right here this is literally where the pre-meet happens right here just there's plenty of parking all you know this entire area there's plenty of parking and uh you know if your car is on the trailer feel free to bring it down here too and um as as always be respectful no burnouts no acting stupid we haven't had anybody do anything stupid yet which is good but um like i said boys it's there's plenty of room out here and it, we, we always have a great time just hanging out and then last year uh, we ended up going to the drag strip so that is the pre-meet guys friday night right off of exit 85 jackson tennessee off of i-40 obviously like i said uh, but I'm going to take you across the highway there, and I'm going to show you the uh, the Holiday Inn Express is right over there. So let's go check that out. All right, boys. So we're going directly across Dr. F.E. Ride Drive. This, again, right off exit 85 in Jackson. You can see we got Arby's. There's a uh, another, like, a pizza buffet right there. We got a, There's a Lenny sub shop, Mexican joint, uh, barbecue place. It's freaking awesome, guys. All right, so. And then over here, guys, you got a Jack's. You got taco bell whatever whatever you want to eat the point is there's lots of places to eat and uh this is the holiday Inn express this hotel is just a couple of years old on uh also but a good reason why i'm kind of recommending this area is like you look over here there's plenty of room if you're if you're towing a trailer if you're bringing your car in a trailer there's plenty of room over here to park your truck in a trailer and like i said boys Holiday Inn Express, place is brand new. People are wondering why I'm filming them, but I don't care because they can, never mind. All right, so like I said, right over here, boys, if you're towing your car in, there's plenty of plenty of room over here to park a truck in a trailer and they're not gonna charge you. So uh, that is the pre-meet and a couple good hotel options. All right, boys, real quick on the north side, of i-40 here at exit 85 again guys jackson tennessee exit 85 on i-40 um one of the reasons we keep the event around here is you'll see in just a minute the gas station on the other side here at the exit is one of the only ones in the area that sells e85 so if your car is on corn we got you covered not only do they have e85 but they got diesel you know whatever you need it's it's all right there all right like i was saying boys the speedway gas station it's got your corn so yeah you don't have to bring your car in and plug a bunch of jugs of e85 got the e85 right there so like i said boys we've got you covered Alrighty boys, and I know everybody's got GPS these days on their phone and in the cars and all that, but you cannot miss your turn because the big old Jackson Dragway sign, Ranger Road boys, this is it. We have uh, essentially arrived. So again, y'all, uh, the gates will probably be open about nine. I put 10 to four on the event flyer, but uh, We'll be there super early, so you know I'm sure we'll start letting people in um, around nine or so. But you always know you're close to a drag strip because there's fishtail marks all over the road. But uh, yeah, boys, we are uh, officially out at the JD, the Jackson Dragway. And this is your main gate right here, boys. So let's get out and I'll kind of show you what's up. All right, boys, we are here. Huge shout out to uh, Scott, the track owner, letting me kind of sneak out here and give you all an idea. But guys, this is the main gate. Obviously, this is where you're going to come in um, and just drive right in here and pay. Now, here's the thing. If you're a spectator, you're going to go this way. You're going to pay here at the gate. Uh, anything that is not a Ford powered vehicle or a tow vehicle and or a tow vehicle, you got to go that way. And uh, there's parking and all that on the other side um then of course you got the gate right here 
And again, guys, $10 to get in. Uh, it's additional $5, so $15 total if you want to race. You, you won't get an event cheaper than that, I promise you. So, all right, guys, let's talk about what we got here. All right, boys, so when you pull in on the track side over here is where we're going to have all the race cars and stuff like that. If, if you are racing on the track, um, you're going to be able to pit right here. And uh, so you'll be really close. There's plenty, obviously, of, of parking and room for trucks and trailers and all of that. Um, and as far down as you need to go. Now on this side over here, and you can see the bathrooms right there. Um, this is where the car show area is going to be. And um, like I said, the, the one year we had, I, I, I'm not even sure, close to 200 cars in the car show. Uh, the year it actually didn't rain. And uh, so we had three rows and it went down basically past the eighth mile down there um so plenty of room for car shows guys and they they spilled over onto that side a little bit so like i said plenty of room and then right here guys up we're going to kind of butt up against where the concessions are this is kind of going to be the midway area right here and uh, so if you want booth space um shoot me an email email is always in the description of the video um, but this is where all the booths and stuff are going to be set up right here. Uh, merch for sale, stuff like that. Um, as far as the swap meet, the swap meet area I'm going to have right here where this black enclosed trailer is right here. Um, that makes it extremely accessible and that way everybody can uh, kind of see what you got. You know, if, if you're bringing stuff to sell, I want to make sure that uh, you have a good opportunity to get all that stuff sold. So if you are wanting to set up a booth, quick sidebar if you're wanting to set up a booth guys if you're wanting to be in the swap meet and bring parts to sell uh email is in the description caleb at the foxcast.com uh there is a small fee not a lot um and i need to know that you're coming so i've got room for you so shoot me an email if you want to do that you can't show up and just start selling stuff it's not gonna happen plenty of restrooms uh there there is like an actual public restroom over there but he's good porta potties all over so uh no worries there this is going to be a super kid friendly event so don't sweat it right there uh he will have race gas for sale and there is air so if you need air uh race gas anything like that uh the the track's got you covered right there and then right here boys is the eighth mile we're gonna go out on the eighth mile track here in just a second but um got your spectators uh seating right here you'll be able to you know hang out along the fence and all that stuff so plenty of room to to check out everything but let's walk around and, and uh, i'll show you the track all right boys here is the staging lane guys i'm really sorry about the wind and you know just bear with me it, like i said it's like 30 degrees out here but this is the staging lanes right here and um basically if you want a grudge race just line up next to one of your buddies right here no worries and uh again guys this is grudge racing or test and tune there's no classes there's none of that garbage um we're just out here to have a good time and enjoy it but uh these are the staging lanes right here so you just roll up hang out right here at this line and uh the track staff will bring you in all right boys so that is the deal guys ford takeover is going to be freaking awesome i'm i'm super excited to bring you the fourth year of ford takeover huge shout out again to uh to the track owner uh of jackson dragway here he, he's got a fantastic facility out here and always always does a great job helping us out with this event and uh being as, as gracious as he can and and hospitable as he can um all of the sponsors uh power by the hour national parts depot detroit speed uh stiflers i'm forgetting something Ah, God, my, my, I'm freezing too, guys. Uh, and then, of course, uh, also put on by Mustangs of the Mid-South and Speed Addict 731. So, guys, I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this event. It's going to be freaking awesome. And also, if you want to race, yours truly, I will be running. Um, I, I have I got to run the event and I got to film the event and all that type of stuff. But I am going to be on the track running. So, if you want to race the Coyote Swap, I'll be here. And uh, I've already got a couple guys that have already called me out. So, it's going to be a great time, guys uh fingers crossed for the weather it's gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be the biggest event uh we've had yet and uh, i think we're gonna break some records and turn some heads so super excited for that oh cook's headers cook's headers shout out to cook's headers as well one of the other sponsors of the event all right boys last and final thought if you're kind of you know on the fence about coming 
here's the reason I put this on this event on and in, in the way that I do this is a cars and coffee style event there's no trophies there's no judging there's none of that garbage um, the racing is just test and tune and grudge style so you know you don't have to worry about you know huge payouts or you know people cheating or anything like that you just come out and you have a good time and you see a lot of badass cars and you hang out with a lot of cool people and eat good food and you drag race and that's it so no bs just just a good time so uh i hope everybody comes out event information is on the facebook page and the website i'm freezing guys it's really cold out here i'm ready for june so uh if you're gonna be at forte oh please give me a big thumbs up make sure you smash that subscribe button and uh yeah be there i'm getting in the truck later